Hi, this is meteorologist Steve Pelletieri, and I am the weatherman. Thanks for stopping by Weatherman Pod on this Wednesday, the 24th day of January 2024. On the weathermanpod.com, we concentrate on aviation hub weather if you're traveling by plane anywhere in the country. We talk about the major airline hubs, and the number one being Atlanta. And other places like Dallas, Fort Worth, Charlotte, Miami, of course, Newark, New York, and Boston, and also in Chicago and the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. We also talk about Phoenix, Southern California, Los Angeles or San Diego, San Francisco, Portland, Oregon, and Seattle, Washington as well, where it always seems like it's raining. Bad weather at any of these places could mean significant delays with connecting flights. Delta has a hub in Atlanta, and when Atlanta has bad weather, it can slow most of that Delta North American operations. Similar a situation can occur at Newark as well, where it's the United hub. United also has a hub in Chicago. When the weather's bad there, you know, things are going to slow down and everything gets backed up. We also look at a weather situation in Texas, Houston, and Dallas-Fort Worth, both at Dallas-Fort Worth and Love Field, headquarters to Southwest. The gateway to South America is Miami. The weather there could be quite important, so we always have to concentrate on the weather situation there. Also going to the central portion of Central America and also into the Caribbean and South America, as mentioned. We'll also talk about other interesting weather news and comments that are appropriate for the time of year. For example, did you know that the old Farmer's Almanac predicted that temperatures would be 2 degrees above normal with limited snowfall for the Northeast Corridor, that's D.C. to the Boston area, during the month of December 2023? And actually, during the month of December, temperatures were between 5 and 8 degrees above normal. Not 2 degrees like the Almanac predicted, but 5 to 8 degrees above normal. But of course, low snowfall. Interestingly enough, the Farmer's Almanac predicts that temperatures will be 2 degrees below normal from D.C. to Boston during the month of January and February, as a matter of fact, and with higher amounts of snowfall as well. Well, so far, coming into uh, about three-quarters of the way through the month, we see that temperatures are still a bit above normal, but snowfall amounts in D.C. and Philadelphia are greater than they were of all of last year. New York City, however, continues to be on the low end with less than three inches of snow, being reported so far this winter. As we get closer to the end of January, might see some more snowy conditions heading towards the northeast. So all in all, the Almanac did pretty good, at least predicting warmer than normal conditions in December, when uh, that also happened. And we'll also keep on top of the Almanac for the remainder of this winter as we approach Groundhog's Day. But here at Weatherman Pod, we also deal with forecasts, in particular for the northeast Carter. And that looks like it's going to be uh, wet and warm over the next several days. So here's the hub weather for the nation on Wednesday. We see rain moving into New York and Newark, and that means a slowdown in operations as it continues to be IFR for the next several days. Even up in Boston, there's going to be some occasional rain. Down in Atlanta, heavier showers and thunderstorms will slow operations there. So if you're going into there, you're going to expect some delays in and out of Hartsfield. Miami's looking pretty good. No problems expected there. Houston has some rain delays because of thunderstorms moving in out of the Gulf, but basically dry in Dallas-Fort Worth. Chicago looks good, as does most of Chicago land and the weather is good up in Minneapolis, St. Paul. No problems expected in that area. West Coast showing L.A. with fairly good weather. A few showers in the San Francisco area. No major problem, though. Weather-wise in Seattle, of course, typical for them. They're going to have more rain, which translates to snow in the mountains to the east and into Idaho and western Montana. Also, some snow showers in Denver, though no major storms are expected in the Denver area. So the snow could slow things down just a bit. In summary, so if you're traveling out of Newark, New York, or Atlanta, or Houston, check your timetables and check your flights. Make sure they're not having significant delays. Here's the weather for the Northeast Carter. We specialize in the weather from D.C. to the Boston area, centered, of course, in central New Jersey and New York City, including Philadelphia. And it looks like wet and warm weather as we get into the January thaw. And we're going to talk more about that January thaw on Thursday's report. But occasional rain and showers with temperatures near 40 expected for the daytime Wednesday. Wednesday night, more rain likely, 30s to near 40. Thursday, temperatures ranging back into the mid-40s, again, with some occasional rain. And Friday will probably be the warmest. Touching 60 in the Philadelphia, New York City area. Maybe some early showers, but that'll give way to some clearing. It looks like some drier weather coming in for the weekend. So that's the weather roundup across the nation. A little bit about the Farmer's Almanac. And today, I'm meteorologist Steve Pelletieri. I am the weatherman. Thanks for checking in, and we'll talk to you again soon.